Hello everyone, welcome back to my YouTube channel. In this video, I'm showing how to schedule a meeting on Zoom application. So right now I'm using computer version, Windows version of Zoom application. I already uh, logged into the Zoom. I have registered and I logged into the Zoom application. In case if you have intern, you just create an account and log in with that specific uh, account, username and password. So once you open the Zoom application, you can see in the left side, you have a couple of options available here, like joining meeting, schedule, share screen, new meeting. What we are discussing today is scheduling a meeting, a future meeting that's going to take place. Uh, so just click on schedule and a new window will be opening like this. Here we have a couple of options. Uh, we can customize our meeting. I'm using a free account because I, have, um, I haven't purchased any subscription plan yet. Um, so there are some limitations uh, as, an, as a free user. Even as a free user, you will have a lot of options uh, to start to um, schedule a meeting. So let's give a name for the meeting, uh, demo for Zoom, for example, or something that you have to give a, a proper name for your meeting. And you can choose the time and date. For example, it's going to be on Monday 28th um, around, um, for example, um, let's put it Six o'clock? Oh, no, six o'clock. Nobody will start meeting. So let's make it um, nine thirty, morning, and we just need to choose the duration. For example, one hour. So it will be from nine thirty to ten thirty, and you can even uh, click this option, recurring meeting, in case if it's um, um, if it's a continuous meeting. But uh, let's do the normal one, and time zone. All right, now I'm in Dubai. You can choose your time zone. So this 9.30, it will be considered in, in Dubai time. So you have to make sure that if you have uh, participants from different country, you should have a, um, if, if somebody is telling that you, uh, you, you have to uh, schedule a meeting for 10 o'clock, but in a different country, you just need to uh, switch to that country. So automatically, it will be updated to the meeting. And here we have in meeting ID, two options we have, generate automatically, which will be generating a link for joining the meeting or even you can provide your personal meeting ID in case if you don't have any issue with sharing your personal meeting ID. So normally in a public meeting, I will be um, at the meeting like uh, with other, other than family, I'll be using generate automatically option. In passcode, uh, only the people with this password can join. You can uh, even change it, make it simpler. Um, I don't know. I don't know if you can uh, make it power free because if I'm making this free, it's just uh, uh, getting blurred. So you have to put some password, and you can enable waiting room. In waiting room, means people can uh, join the meeting um, only after the approval of the from the host. So if you want, you can enable that one, and video. You can put the video on. In your meeting or off depending but still you will be able to switch on the during the meeting that's fine so just make it off or on depending on your requirements participants uh, you can enable their video in case if you want if they want to enable must enable the video you can choose this on or off uh, but I believe this as a free it will it will still be able to disable the video you can even share it with your calendar, for example, Outlook or Google Calendar or other calendars. Normally, I use Outlook because I'm using uh, Outlook most of the time. And uh, even you can choose Google Calendar. Allow participants to join anytime. People can join anytime, even without your, even if you haven't started the meeting. And you can mute participants upon entry. Like people, they cannot speak uh, unless they enable the microphone manually. Automatically record meeting on the local computer. This is an option where we can uh, record the meeting automatically on our local computer. It will be saved after we finish the meeting. So click on save after you have done and that's it. So you have finished. You can click on the meetings and you can see the meeting. You can edit that meeting in case if you want or just copy the invitation and you can send it by WhatsApp or any other platform. Uh, since we have chosen Outlook automatically, this window will be opened and you can send to the your contacts. For example, someone, whoever attend the meeting, you can just put their emails over here and send that meeting. So I believe this um, 
video was helpful to you guys if you got an idea about the zoom scheduled meeting thank you for watching subscribe the channel click the bell icon for notification take care goodbye